How's everybody doing today? Good? Hi, everyone. Put your straight jaw. Can't touch your straight jaw, I should say. Should we do it in Chinese or English? English. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's a great honor to be here together with our great partner, longtime friend Usher, CEO of Hi8. And uh, today we're going to share with you uh, the latest technology about the U3 miners and their uh, latest generation of infrastructure solutions. Yeah, so uh, quick background. Everybody knows who Bitmain is. They're the largest manufacturer of Bitcoin mining machines in the world. Uh, HUD-8 is a US NASDAQ listed energy infrastructure company. And we actually just spun out a company called American Bitcoin, which will be on stage tomorrow to talk a little bit more about. Um, and so, oh, they took away the photo in the back. Uh, maybe can you guys pull the photo back up real quick and we can show everybody? Um, when we designed this latest facility that we just built in Texas, we really wanted to take the fundamentals of a traditional data center design so the data center that we worked with Bitmain and that we developed, can you guys put on the uh, photo if you guys have a chance backstage? Awesome, thank you. Um, the, the data center that we designed, if you think about NVIDIA's Blackwell chips, it's about 140 kilowatts per rack of rack density. And so here, if you look at this data center, these chips are about 200 kilowatts per rack. So it's more dense in heat efficiency than the newest generation uh, Blackwell chips. And so this data center, if you look here, I think this data center, I was asking Irene, is the most amount of hash rate in one single building in the whole world. It's 15 exa hash in one single building. And so uh, Bitmain has been great partners. We started innovating on the ASIC chip to try to combine it closer to the AI data center world and uh, we've worked on really great partnership together that we hope to scale. Yeah, so I still remember last year when we met in Singapore, we were talking about to set up the very first crypto and AI integration infrastructure and mining solutions. And it take this amazing team only nine months to make everything energized. I, and a few months ago, I received a call from a partner, Mike, that I should go to Vega to visit the site. And I was so surprised that uh, you guys can build such a large um, scale of infrastructure to ensure that the, I think that the Jupiter hash efficiency of the mining there is around 30% increase compared to um, you know, the average efficiency of the mining fleet. And the hash density is doubled in a single building. Uh, that's, uh, you know, amazing teams, amazing job, and uh, the great collaboration between the two parties. Uh, I think your team put a lot of efforts into the infrastructure, and also by the whole process in the past nine months, our teams, research and development teams, are working closely with each other to collect the feedback from your, your team to make improvements of the mining solutions and with all those efforts and, and um, to make things happen. Yeah, and, and, and honestly, one of the big reasons that we had developed this facility is when we were having conversations with AI customers, think the Amazons and Googles and Microsofts of the world, we said, hey, we have 700 megawatts of Bitcoin mining today. And they're like, that doesn't count. That's not a real data center. And so I think it was much more of an urge to say, these technologies can I actually converge. And as we continue to develop uh, this infrastructure with Bitmain, I do see a world where we'll have data centers that will be able to be ma malleable, whether you put an ASIC chip from Bitmain or you put an NVIDIA Blackwell GPU you'll be able to run different types of compute in the da same data center, and you can add a layer of redundancy, a layer of generator backup to provide more backup support for uh, more expensive GPU uh, compute that you need. And so I, I think in general, the big takeaway here is there's still a lot of innovation to be done within the mining sector. I think there's a lot of innovation to be done on how do we think about it relative 
to other computing needs. And then the other element about this project is uh, it's fully behind the meter at a wind farm. So about 40% of the time we pull power from the wind farm and then the rest of the time we pull power from the grid. And so it's a beautiful campus, 205 megawatts in a single building. Um, and I think this also goes to a testament. Irene and I have known each other forever now uh, since we were both uh, little kiddos. And uh, I think in order to be able to innovate and be able to deploy, uh, I mean, this was, this overall project is what, four or five hundred million dollar project. And from beginning of conversation to having it fully deployed was under a year that we deployed a four to five hundred million dollar project. And I think it goes to a testament to the partnership, to the relationship, and the ability to innovate both on the chips and on the data center design. I mean, this design we designed while we were building the facility. Um, and uh, I, I think it goes to everyone in the ecosystem everything in crypto, everything in Bitcoin is new, and it's really important to create strong relationships and alliances and trust, and you can innovate and build together as partners. Yeah. involved in a uh, great trust because uh, um, since we know each other, we know you have a great team that can get things done. That's why we are willing to uh, funding this uh, project and uh, collaborate with you. And uh, I think it's worth it. It also lead the trend of the future mining infrastructure. Uh, last month, uh, our team hosted a uh, Vega set visit and some of our clients, including the private mining companies and institu uh, institutional investors are all within the site and when they come back, they give us the feedback that they would love to have their future infrastructure to be built in that way. And they're like trying to collaborate with, with, uh, with you guys or tr trying to urge us to give them uh, not only uh, full customization, minor solutions, but also um, either containerized, modular uh, racking solutions for them. So uh, I can see you, we, will, uh, we will have more and more um, innovation and uh, creations into mining with uh, uh, those solutions. Yeah, and, and I think another big thing, I know we're in Hong Kong right now, but uh, we're starting to do a lot more U.S. manufacturing as well from a supply chain perspective um, and, and looking at uh, manufacturing across like a lot of things here from the conveyance systems to the rack systems and so forth. And so I think as we think about vertically integrating, being able to scale aggressively, uh, all of those elements are really important when thinking about uh, mining and building. I mean, my perspective is you're either a small scale miner and you have really cheap or free power, or you have to mine at a very large scale where you really are able to get to the lowest cost basis on energy and power consumption. Yeah, that's another very exciting collaboration and good news that we are bringing together to the market. And uh, since the, uh, June, we announced the new generation of U3 S23 hydro miners. We receive uh, a lot of pre-orders for that, more than one billion dollars pre-orders right now, and those uh, machines are all going to be produced in the U.S. That uh, under the collaboration of us. So we're very excited about it. We're very excited about the future of uh, mining, uh, not only in the US that we are going to um, collaborate, but also uh, in the rest of the world. Yeah, um, and, and I think to kind of, on some clothing thoughts here quickly, uh, the, the biggest, I, I think one thing people ask all the time is, how do you get into the space? Where is mining going? 
where's the future of this going? And when, so a quick background, Irene knows this. Uh, my co-founder, Mike Ho, was very early in the space, helped uh, be a part of a lot of kind of successful stories of other mining companies. And when we started a company called US Bitcoin Corp, we had raised a couple hundred thousand dollars as young entrepreneurs. At the end of 2020, no one wanted to hear anything about Bitcoin. And then obviously 21 was uh, kind of the heyday and everything came back again. But we really thought about like, what is the competitive moat that we can build as a company to create a differentiated advantage? And really where we leaned into was two things. One is the biggest OPEX for mining is your energy cost. And so if we became the best and most sophisticated energy operators in this industry, we would be able to control and manage our margins regardless of Bitcoin price and manage through volatility. And the second is innovating around the data center infrastructure stack. So for example, this data center outside of the Bitmain chips, we built this whole facility for cheaper than people build air facilities. And so I think those are the two things that allowed us to merge with HUD-8, now we're one of the largest Bitcoin mining companies in the world, and HUD-8 now is an energy infrastructure business. We're building large campuses. Um, we're building campuses for Bitcoin, for AI data centers, uh, and for other use cases. And then American Bitcoin, we're excited uh, to talk about tomorrow, but American Bitcoin will be a mix between a Bitcoin mining business where we can mine Bitcoin at a 50% discount that, that you can buy for, and then it'll also be a treasury company where if we can get really low cost capital, we'll purchase Bitcoin as well and ultimately increase Bitcoin per share. So we'll be running both of these NASDAQ listed companies that focus on long energy and long Bitcoin. Yeah, that's uh, uh, another thing that when you tell me about the CapEx you invest in these projects, it surprised me a lot. Because we all know it's a heavy investment that you need to put a lot of capital up front to build a, a huge mining centers, uh, especially in the, the, the server type of design. But your team really work hard on it to, to ensure all the, like every dollar spent on this project's cost. And um, uh, with our reliable partner, we're going to have more modular projects like this that enable all the institutional investors can be assigned to the latest generation of the miners with the most efficient infrastructure solutions so that you don't have to, you know, build everything from zero. You can just come to us and uh, Asher and I will provide you a one-way solution so that you can get the hash rate just one for you and mine uh, in a minute. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having us. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much.